Today I would like to show you a rare model engine. It's a Luther V12 engine with 120 cubic centimeters, manufactured by Rolf Luther from Germany. But let's start at the beginning. The engine comes from a collection also from Germany. I only had this picture here. I had to decide whether or not to buy it based on the pictures. But an opportunity like this only comes once and I bought this one. You have to know that Luther engines are generally rare, especially the V12. This is what the engine looked like when I got it. It was probably converted to gasoline right at the beginning. It has a mechanical ignition distributor controlled via the camshaft. But I think the engine never ran. On the one hand, the complete ignition system is missing, there is no fuel distribution system, and the engine itself looks unused. No signs of use, even the manifolds inside are new. My personal opinion is that 10 cubic centimeters per cylinder is the limit for gasoline. With less displacement, they no longer run properly because of an insufficient mixture formation. That's why I'm going to convert the engine back to methanol, as it was originally. With this modification, it will run very well. I also looked at the ignition distributor. It appears to be very simple and also unused. There is a hexagon in the middle which switches the contact. The spark is then distributed to the individual ignition cables via the arm at the top. But as mentioned, it looks like the fuel conversion never worked. I have designed a new dummy ignition distributor for the glow plugs in Fusion 360. I based my design on the previous ignition distributor. I then had it SLS 3D printed. I also used the original holder to the cylinder head for it. Now I have the problem that the ignition cables are somehow hanging in the air. On the one hand, this is risky as they could come into contact with the manifold, and most important, it just looks bad. To solve the problem, I designed a carbon cable holder. This guides the cables and looks great. This is screwed directly to the cylinder head cover with additional aluminum spacers. All glow plugs are connected in parallel. The ignition distributor is not just a dummy, but connects all the ignition cables with a brass plate. In my design, the distributor plate is screwed into the ignition distributor housing. I cut the cables to length and solder them into the distributor plate. The main connection for the power supply is then in the middle. And this is the fully wired ignition distributor. That looks really good. I'm very happy with it. I connected the individual ignition cables neatly to form a wiring harness. I fed the supply cable back to the power supply via the cable holder. On both sides, of course. I don't know how you see it, but from my point of view, it looks really, really good. Some of you will have noticed in the previous pictures that I have built a custom fuel distribution system. You know me by now, making something cheap by hand is not my style. So I fired up the CAD again and designed a fuel distributor. It had to look good and sure it has to work perfectly. That's why I decided on this revolver design. I made this from brass. To ensure that everything is tight, nothing was pressed, but everything was glued together with high strength Loctite. Simple and effective. In the end, we have one main connection which distributes the fuel through the revolver fuel distributor to the six individual carburetors. Maybe some words about the valve train. The Luther V12 engine has two overhead camshafts. These are driven by a chain. The reduction ratio of two to one is achieved with a reduction gear on the crankshaft. The cams are individual and screwed onto the shaft. It has two valves per cylinder. A needle bearing is installed between each cylinder as a support. Here's a fun fact. Most of you have probably seen the video of my V8 engine from Schillings. If not, you'll find the link in the description. Compare the cams of that one with those of the V12 engine from Rolf Luther. Can you see it? The cams are the same. So technically speaking, Rolf Luther's engines are based on Schilling's engines. Interesting, isn't it? Before I close the camshaft housing, I oil each cam by hand with Molsynth 120 because there is no active oil system in this engine. This is common for model engines. A few words about the engine mount. I installed rubber buffers to dampen vibrations. I built this damper for this purpose. 
I fitted each of the four motor mounts with one of these. Here you can see how this works in principle. Each buffer unit has a theoretical load capacity of 9 kilograms, so everything is safe. I'm often asked how I power my glow plugs. Each glow plug needs 1.3 to 1.4 volts at 3 amps, so we need a power unit, which delivers in total 36 amps at 1.4 volts. I use DC-DC voltage transformers, which deliver a maximum of 20 amps per unit. The cost per transformer is only a few bugs. Each converter supplies six glow plugs. I use a 4S LiPo as power source. The output voltage can be continuously adjusted using a potentiometer on the converter. Here I adjusted the output voltage to 1.38 volts. This is what my custom-made Luther V12 engine looks like now. We are finished and can start it for the first time. Awesome. A very good first start. If the engine and the video get good feedback, I may run it longer in a later video. Thanks to you guys for your support and feedback. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe.